we have a main topic here, but I want to segue slightly because Xbox has acquired Obsidian and an Exile, Woo! which I predicted about. Uh, I think it was a. It was earlier this year. It was may have been a year ago. I think it was late. I think it was early this year or late last year. I said Xbox by the end of the cycle, Xbox will have come around, and they won't be the best first party but they're going to have to come around in order to stay relevant. And then the next console, they're going to be basically doubling down on their on their um, devs. We saw it happen with E3 when they announced all of the devs that they were buying out, and now they're acquiring Obsidian. I mean, mm-hmm. this is this is immense. And uh, co- well, I'm sorry, go ahead. What would be totally cool, just as an Obsidian thing, would be if... Uh... If they if they gave it since Obsidian, by the way, if you weren't aware, made Kotar, uh, or is it Kotar two? Uh, I'm pretty sure it was two. Bioware, I think, did the first. Yeah, and, so Kotar two, which uh, a lot of people think is the better one, it's probably a toss up. They're both great games, but what if they gave Obsidian Fable? Like, You're yeah, right. Kotar so two is Obsidian. Fable, I would love to see what Obsidian would do with Fable. Because Fable, Fable is like the little engine that could. Well, no, that's a bad analogy. Yeah. That's a bad analogy. It's like, it's almost, I, I can't find the analogy right now, but it's like, it's almost there. Like every yeah. iteration of Fable is like, oh, you're almost what you wanted to be. And yeah, we have the Mohal Molyneux thing where he announces like, oh, the game's going to have all these things and it doesn't. But it, even without that, if you're playing Fable 2, you're like, Hmm, this is lacking a little bit. You play Fable 3 and you're like, hmm, I wish it had these other things from Fable 2. But it's a really good franchise. So for those of us playing at home, Xbox now owns 343 Industries, Jeez. Compulsion Games, In Exile Entertainment, Lyft London, Mojang, Microsoft Casual Games, Ninja Theory, yep. Obsidian Entertainment, Playground Games, Rare, The Coalition, The Initiative, Turn 10 Studios, Undead Labs, and last but certainly not least, Microsoft Studios Global Publishing. So coupling that and knowing what Microsoft is positioning themselves to do and to be, we have PlayStation and Sony announcing that they will not be at E3. When this news dropped, I was so happy that I was going to be on the show today (laughs) because this is probably the biggest thing that's going to happen this year in terms of like a studio thing. Honestly, PlayStation skipping E3 next year is bigger than Microsoft buying Obsidian. And they didn't have PSX. No, they skipped that. They've been going to E3 playstation has for over 20 years yeah over 20 years that they've been going to e3 and they said uh in quote as the industry evolves sony interactive entertainment continues to look for inventive opportunities to engage with the community it means playstation fans mean the world to us and we always want to innovate think differently and experiment with new ways to delight gamers as a result we've decided not to participate in e3 in 2019 what the f does that mean i think they're trying to go the way of nintendo which is and we kind of saw that with the last e3 where they're like we're gonna do our own thing and we're gonna make this an experience and it was almost like a like a the wine tasting ever. it was weird it was a, it was a weird it was an experience for anyone in the audience. It was terrible. It was terrible for us. Like they they did the thing where they what they showed with Last of Us. Obviously, that's what we all want to see. It's Last of Us Part Two, but then they stopped the show, told everybody to leave, and then we cut to a panel for like ten minutes as yeah. everybody moved into a different location. That was that was the problem. What I meant what I what I mean was like it was it would have been experience. They were viewing it as the experience of the audience sitting there. If you yeah. went to, a, it was almost like a like a like a multimedia art show, where mm-hmm. they're like, we're going to show this, and then you're going to have you're going to hear this uh, hear this fl- uh, flautist uh, playing this uh, you know Asian sound uh, Asian I don't I don't know what kind of 
flute it was, so I'm not going to pretend to know. Yeah. And then you hear, see some samurai, and then we're going to bring you here. And I'm like, that was very immersive for everyone in the audience, for everyone watching at home. We were bored, and we had lo- we had ten minute periods of people trying to kill kill uh, dead dead air essentially. Yeah, and I appreciate the music stuff. Like normal, when they did last year, whenever they did uh, the God of War thing, that beginning was awesome, where they had the. Uh, uh, what do you call orchestra that was doing the God of War theme, and then they showed off God of War for the first time yeah. at 2017 E3. It was beautiful. It was fantastic. It was so beautiful. This is nuts to me. I'm still like I don't understand what is going to happen. Are they? You made a good point. Are they going to do Nintendo Directs where they realized, hey, we can spend probably half even less as much and just stream it to twitch youtube and facebook and every streaming twitter for way cheaper not show up there and you'll still eat it up I, and honestly i mean as much as i want to go to like e3 and the in these different types of presentations at the same time the majority by a long shot the majority of people who experience these things experience them via the internet we experienced them at the same time as people who went to it see it live, as opposed to, you know, hearing about it, you know, when the reporters reported later on. With with the internet, we have live streaming, and if you're not live streaming it, it's like something's wrong with you, and something's wrong with your company. If you're not live streaming yeah. announcement, you like can this. go. You can go to my Facebook for the last like three E threes, and you will see my uh, live blogging where I put every single game that every single company announces during the big thing because I dig it that much and now Sony's not going to be there and then of course Microsoft or Xbox throws their little tweet shade out there I don't know if you saw this uh, right after that news dropped about half hour later Xbox tweets we look forward to seeing all of our fans at E3 that was brilliant that was freaking brilliant but I it kills me that Sony won't be there because of that community because what we see is the presentation but what people who go to e3 experience again we're talking about like the experience the playstation you know like uh you go to e3 and you see this you see the presentation and then you go out to the e3 show floor and you actually play these games or you see gameplay of these games and that's part of the experience we don't we don't get to see here remotely so if they don't show up does that mean they're not going to even be there like not even not even a because nintendo would not do a showcase but they'll have like a booth so. uh, and then honestly even with nintendo doing their booth i think la- i think this e3 literally you could play smash yeah you might i can't i could be wrong no. i could be absolutely wrong about that feel free to correct me in the comments but i'm pretty sure i heard if you went to e3 and played nintendo the only nintendo game you were playing was smash you, you may be right i mean i know I know that they dialed it back, but I will say, like, I think that a year or the year Breath of the Wild came out, like before it came out, that was all that was being played there was Breath of the Wild. So at the same time, it's like you could talk about variety, but at the same time, um, you talk about variety, but Nintendo, they always have like they have many games that are coming out, but they have one big game that's coming out. Smash is their big game coming out right now. And, yeah, and then six months from now there will be another title that they're gonna get. They're gonna get behind. Uh, uh, Nintendo's almost well. They they seem to almost do them quarterly at one point. Now they're slowing down. Um, I know they're trying to double down, and I'm not I'm not trying to be hypocritical here because I literally uh-huh. said they need third party party support. Now they have all these third party games on there, which I think yeah. are being. You know, I'm, I'm sitting here with three, two of them sitting here with Diablo and uh, Dark Souls. Um, they're overpriced. I'll say that sure. they're overpriced, but at the same time, I'm glad they're get they're there. I you can get Celeste for fourteen ninety nine on Switch. Okay, see, at that price, I think I'm gonna have to get it. Um, I've heard it's really good. But... I want everybody to play this game. By the way, yeah. sorry. No, no, that's no, okay. Like that's that's there are these games that people aren't playing, and I'm glad when I saw Celeste nominated on it, I thought that was that was amazing to to nominate a game uh, that. A lot of people would discredit. A lot of, uh, I'd say, younger, more modern gamers may not play based on the graphics or based on the, the type of gameplay because a lot of ga- uh, gamers yep. nowadays don't want 2D act- 2D platformers. My nephew will not play 2D stuff. He gets bored. Yeah. So. There's an interesting thing that comes from this where... So 
One, Sony didn't have PSX. Now they're going to ditch E3. Honestly, if Microsoft doesn't strike hard at E3, I'm not going to say shame on them or anything because it's their company and everything, but XO18, even though traditionally is not a big thing, they're, it's, a, it's a fan event. Um, I don't know if you watched any of the XO18 streams. Um, did you happen to catch any no, of it? I didn't. Okay. So check it out sometime just to so you know exactly what i'm talking about so it was basically a game pass thing like yes they announced the 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 obsidian the in the uh in exile and that was like a two second thing they didn't really focus on that it was hey look at game pass here's all the games but every single thing that they said everybody was cheering like they just announced last of us part three on xbox it was the weirdest reactions to like the lowest uh announcements i've ever seen um, do you think it was like like rigged kind of like the wwe like they pipe in crowd noise like if you're if you're sitting there in the crowd they pipe in crowd noise to get people now, to cheer more now i kind of want you to watch it and tell me if that's what you think I'm, uh, I'm, i might have to do that because wwe started doing that um i don't know if it was like seven or eight years ago so yeah. you, like because they, they're trying to hype up the crowd or you sure. pipe in booze um, to get you to boo people, because if you start hearing people boo, then you start booing. Yeah, it's a it's a crowd reaction. It is. It is. I gotta, I gotta uh, check that out. So they had an opportunity there where it's like, hey, Sony didn't do PSX. We can turn this into the PSX of Xbox. They didn't do it. It was honestly a snore fest. Uh, like it was cool game pass is a great feature and everything they announced the thing where it's like for if you're if you don't have game pass currently you can sign up for your first month for one dollar yeah. that's the, that's awesome but show me games and i know that they just bought all these studios and you can't you can't expect those studios to have anything worth showing but if they don't have anything to show at e3 and it's another thing where it's like here's a whole bunch of game pass crap then you are you deserve to get stomped by ps5 no i agree i agree um i think that they want to be part of the um uh everyone's moving towards being a service instead of just being a game so you have games as a service like um you know like the new fallout and others that are trying to trying to um not just be games anymore so subscription-based models are definitely that where you can say how can I keep making money uh, that would maybe more than the person would actually pay? And maybe on the back end, it, you're base, it's, it's just different ways of skinning the cat, essentially. Um, I think that Game Pass is good for certain people, but I think for other, for other, dem for certain demographics, like if you have a budget, like mm -hmm. that Game Pass is great. It's like, what, it's yeah. uh, 1999, right? stupid cheap whatever yeah. it is so, i think it's i think it's under 20 bucks yeah if it's, uh, if it's so i'm thinking I, I can't remember if it's ten dollars or whatever it is but like um it's cheap uh you're stream you stream your game and but you don't get to keep it so that's the only reason for me where i'm like i don't know how to feel about that i know you, you can join for one dollar mm -hmm. uh for your first month and after the first month continues at just 9.99 yeah, it's nine, see, so, I, don't know, I was thinking so cheap it's crazy cheap for uh, every month for ten dollars you can stream you can play any of these games and a lot of them i think uh a lot of them as soon as the game comes out they're available on game ca game pass every single xbox slash play uh slash pc exclusive that's freaking stupid like at least first party anyways yeah. i don't know about i mean uh, and if they if they are doubling down on having their studios and having these games and they're coming out regularly i'm buying game i'm signing up on game pass i mean yeah right now i'm not doing it because i'm like well if i if i view it as a rental right yeah. viewing it as can i try these new games out and if there's a game that comes out every month or so then I'm, then it's totally worth it. I'm essentially paying to rent a game for an extended period of time and rent multiple games all at once. I think it's a great model. Right now, I didn't think I, I don't don't think they have enough. Uh, they have a, a lot of older games and they have some newer games. And that's yeah. where to me, I'm like, ah, don't think it's worth it. But if they start pumping out ex uh, exclusives and pumping out really good content with all these studios, it's going to be amazing. So Xbox. That was where X018 was really cool. Is that they announced a lot of stuff for Game Pass. And again, cool. Again, just watch the crowd reaction. It's yeah. hilarious. Where I'm just like, this isn't exciting. 
they better come out at E3 and say, suck it, Sony. Look at all of our games. Because if not, sometime during 2019, Sony is going to do a PlayStation 5 announcement. I'm saying that PlayStation 5 comes out like early 2020. No, I think you're I think you're I think you're right. I think they'll announce it. I don't think it'll be come out coming out 2019. I think you're probably right on that. I think that both parties will be announcing their new console neck by the end of next year. But I think Sony Sony may beat them to it and be better at it in regards to branding. If Xbox shows if Xbox is weak at E3 and we have another uh, like EA's uh, press conference this last year where everyone watched it and went like what was the point? Uh, if E3 uh, Xbox doesn't bring it and Sony then says, "Oh, by the way, uh, PS5, here's a little here's a little teaser of some game game st- uh, stuff that we're doing on it." Everyone will just laugh at Xbox. The other thing that'll be really funny is if they do something during E3 week. I don't. I, I wonder if that's I think, what they're saying by saying would. like we're figuring out new and innovative ways. I'm wondering because they they said that as far as the PS4 life cycle goes, Last of Us Part Two is a PS4 game. They have said that Days Gone is a PS4 game. They have said that Dreams is a PS4 game. They have said that uh, Kojima's game, uh, I still don't believe them on that one, but they've said that that's a PS4 game. Those are all Sony first party studios and some of the biggest ones that say that they're gonna come out on PlayStation 4. When are you gonna show it to us? I really wonder. I know that they're all going to be swan songs, but and that's crazy to think about that all those games are still not going to come out. But this is insane. Yeah, this is crazy to me, and and it's also a little bit of a bummer just because of how much I like E3. I love, I love that weekend of going. All right, I'm going to watch Sony today. I'm going to watch oh. Microsoft the next day. I'm going to watch EA in the morning. I'm going to watch E3, Ubisoft in the E3 afternoon. E3 is my Super Bowl. Like you know, yeah. I'm not into sports, but E3 is my freaking Super Bowl. Like it. I will, I will take time. I, I tell Whitney that week. I'm like, okay, I'm not doing anything. So I'm not doing anything Saturday night all the way up until Thursday. Like, cause that, cause all the announcements and stuff are going to happen then. Sorry. Like that basically my week is gone, but yeah. it's so good. There's so much good stuff. So I think Sony will do something. They may not if they do, present, do something. <laughs> what do they call it? Because what Nintendo's called Nintendo Direct, and then they have the Nintendo Treehouse. What Sony is gonna be? Is it gonna, <laughs> the so, uh, like Sony Oasis, the Sony, the Sony Play Dash Station. <laughs> I don't know. I don't what know. do they do? Playhouse on Switch. The Playhouse. What's uh? What was that? What's their uh share? What's that share thing called? The studio that's on PlayStation Four with astrobot oh i know what you're talking about i don't remember the name uh, uh share factory oh, okay so what share station there. yeah i don't know i don't know something like that um <laughs> let us know in the comments what you think they're going to call it and do you think they're that sony's actually going to show up virtually through the internet during e3 to uh to pull the pants down on xbox metaphorically speaking I like that little hand gesture. That's your. You, Patrick pulls the pants down real slow. Oh, yeah. He wants you. you it's got, a slow burn. You you gotta you gotta really humiliate them. I you can tell I've had that happen to me. And when you have that happen to you, it seems like it's slow motion. <laughs> Let us know in the comments what you think and uh, what you think. Uh, do you think Xbox is going to be the uh, contender that we think it's going to be next year? Do you think it's going to be Xbox's year next year? I think that it's gonna be it's gonna be uh xbox year it's gonna, it's gonna be, be interesting it's gonna be either way it's gonna be interesting we'll see you later bye thanks for watching this week in our collective heads uh subscribe over here and click the bell and that way you'll know about any new videos that we put up because we put up a lot of a lot of gameplay a lot of stories from games and stuff like that and gameplay is down here yeah and you got more editorials and new stuff down here check it out